own soul say. See, that's why the Bible is redundant. The Lord says things over and over because we're stiff-necked, hard-headed people. Right. Right. Calm down and listen to one another. And more importantly, listen to this fight. Right? Right. Okay, watch this. Right? With, with that said, sis, sis, you gotta pay attention because this is very important, right? Do you live in Baltimore? Yeah. Right, so you see the conditions of our people, right? Yeah. Do you want it to stay like that or you want it to change? It can change. How can it change? I guess with the people, like the people here suck. All right, so we're gonna show you how it's gonna change, but first, you gotta know who you are, Bring it right? Up. Because you have several people on this earth, right? And this Bible wasn't given to everybody, right? It was given to these people right here. It was given to these people right here on this sign, which are the 12 tribes of Israel, which you are a part of, because you come from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Right? That's right. So give me, give me Psalms 147 first. Give me Psalms 147. Right, sis? Sis, you ever been to church? You ever grew up going to church and stuff yeah. like that? What church did you go to? What denomination? I don't know. My grandmother just took me to And what do you learn from church? Uh, nothing. I like it. Nothing. Right? Yeah, and that's, like that's the case with a lot of our people. They go that's to church right. all these years and they learn nothing. You know why? Because they have no understanding. They don't know who they are. They don't know what's their heritage and what they should be doing. Right? Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 1. Sis, sis, sis. Read, read it. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He sheweth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So Baltimore, the most I said he showed his laws unto Jacob. Right? Read. He hath not dealt so with any nation. So Jacob is the 12 tribes of Israel, of which you are a part of. You people in Baltimore, you are, most of you are in the 12 tribes of Israel. Predominantly the, the, the tribe of Judah, the tribe of Benjamin, and the tribe of Levi. Right? Read. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So the other nations, which are your so-called Chinese, your so-called Arabs, the so-called East Indians, the so-called white man, they have not known these laws or these judgments. That's right. So that's why we out here to teach our people their true nationality, right? We out here to teach them the true scriptures and the truth according to the Bible, right? We're going to get what's the truth according to the Bible. Give me that in Psalms, right? Because a lot of our people walking around here and they don't know what the truth is. They think the truth is living in the ghettos. They think the truth is driving around in a fancy truck or a car. Bring it up. They think the truth is sports. They think the truth is the, the religions on the earth. We're going to show you what the truth is according to the Bible. Sis, sis, listen up. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Thy what? Thy law is the truth. God's law, statutes, and commandments, that's the truth. Sis with the red hat on. Sis with the red cap. You got two minutes? We're teaching the truth according to the Bible. You know what the truth is? You know what the truth is, sis? Sis here with the cap on, sis with the red pants. Sis with the red with the red pants on. You know what the truth is according to the Bible? You know who you are according to the Bible? 
You see our people walking around here, they lost. Give me Zechariah 7 and 11. They lost. They lost. They don't want to hear. They don't want to. They, they don't want to even stop and talk to their own brothers for two seconds. Read the book of Zechariah, chapter seven, verse eleven. But they refused to hearken. They what? They refused to hearken. Most of you all walking around here, you refuse to hearken to the words of the Most High God. Read and pulled away the shoulder and pulled away the what? The shoulder. Read and stopped their ears that they should not hear and stopped their ears. So that they should not hear. Hey, brother man, brother with the black shirt, come up a little closer. Bre brethren, brother man with the black shirt, come up a little closer, man. Huh? We teaching the same thing. We teaching the same thing. You have any questions? You got questions? You got questions? All right, so you see, lady there, ma'am, sis, sis, sis with the shades on. You got two minutes, sis. We're teaching our nationality. We're teaching who we are according That's to the right. Bible. That's you need to know that, sis. You need to know this. We're living in sin. We need to correct the problems that we have in society. Right. Right? Read. Verse 11. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. So you see, most of the people that pass in here, they refuse to listen. They refuse to hearken. This is why we ended up like this. This is why we ended up in sin. Because we, we refuse to hearken. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. We'll show you what is the result of us refusing to hear. Right, my brother? My brother right here. What's your name, brother, man? Howard. Howard. All right, you know your nationality? You know your nationality? Your true nationality? What is your nationality according to society? You see what I'm saying? Right, you call yourself African-American. You know that comes from two white men? You know that? Bring it out. You didn't know that, right? But we're going to show you today, right? So Africa, that word Africa, it comes from a man called Leo Scipios Africanus. He was right. an Italian navigator, That's right. right? America comes from Amerigo Despucci. He was also a sailor, right? Those were so-called white men. That's these right. are the men who came and they conquered these lands. That's right. And then they name it after their own selves, right? Give me that in uh, Psalms 49. We're going to show you. We're going to show you how these people, they came here, they conquered our lands. And then they, they, they name the lands after themselves. Right. And then we call in ourselves after these names. Right. right? Listen, read. The book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Read. And their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own name. Read that again. They call their lands after their own name. So that's that same man I tell you about. You skip your Sabrakanas. America Despucci. He called it America after his name, America Despucci. Right? Leo Scipios Africanus, he called it Africa after his name. Bring it out. Right? So this is what we teach him. We try we trying to open up the minds of our people because we've been asleep for too long. Right? So in, in showing you now, you say you're a so-called African American. Right? We're gonna show you according to the Bible that you come from the tribe of Judah. Yes. Right? You know who else come from that tribe? Guess who else come from the tribe of Judah? Jesus the Christ, the That's black right. Messiah. He also came from the tribe of Judah. Right? You believe in Christ? So you believe in the Bible. Right? Alright, so if I ask you, what is the image of Christ? What is the color of Christ? What did he look like when he walked you? Come around, come, come around here. Come around here. Let's show you, man. You see this right here? This is what they give us on the earth. Do you believe that this is Jesus the Christ? Right? Right. All right, sis, what's your name? Judy, my name is Shalomai. Right, so you say you know your Israel, right? So you know that as an Israelite, we need to keep the commandments, right? You know that, right? Right? Howard, you're listening? We teach any color of Christ. We teach any color of Christ, sis. Stick around and listen. You need to hear this. For you say you're an Israelite, right? You know Christ was an Israelite, right? Yes. You know, he was you, right, you know what tribe he was from? What tribe are you from? What, what, what's your nationality? Christ was also from the tribe of Judah, sis. So that's what we point pointing out here to Howard because he's also from the tribe of Judah. Right? Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. It says the revelation of Jesus Christ, Howard. When you're revealing something, right, it means that it was hidden. Right? So they hid the true image of Christ from us all these years, from since we were in slavery. And they give us this image, right, which is not the true image, right? Read. Which God gave unto him to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. 
Read. And he sent and signified it by his ang angels unto his servant John. So read that again. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servant. To show unto his who? His servant. So you know who the servants of the Mosai is? Give me that in Leviticus 25, 55 on who revelation. You know who the servants of God is? You know who the servants of God is? Right. The 12 tribes of Israel, right? But we're going to prove everything according to this Bible. We're not just going to say it, but we're going to prove it. Right? Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 25, verse 55. For unto me, the children of Israel are servants. Who? The children of Israel are servants. So the children of Israel, these 12 tribes here, which you are a part of, you are the tribe of Judah, you are the servants. We are the servants. Right? Go back to Revelation. So now you see who it's, it's directed to. Now you see who John is talking to. Right? He's talking to these people and nobody else. Right? Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angels unto the servant, John. So let's get the point. Let's jump down to 14 now. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it said his head and his hairs were white like wool, right? So look at this picture here. Is his head white and woolly is this does this image here white and woolly right so that's strike number one right read as white as snow and his eyes were as a flame of fire so he said his eyes were like a flame of fire right you know what's the reason for that because christ drank wine and that was prophesied in uh in genesis 49 we're gonna get that for you too right because what was the first miracle that christ did huh what was the first miracle he did Christ, what was the first miracle he did when he was on the earth? What was his first miracle? That's right. Right? So we're going to read that now. Right? Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 11. Verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. So his eyes shall be red with wine. That's prophesying, right? Steve, you listening. We, we bringing all the color of Christ, right? Sis, how you doing? You got two seconds? We bringing all the true color of Christ. You know who you are according to the Bible? Do you believe in Jesus the Christ? You believe in the Bible? All right, well, stick around a little bit. We're bringing out the color of Christ, right? We're going to start over. Read from, read from verse 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So it says, this is the revelation of Christ. Right, Steve? This is the revelation of Jesus Christ. The true revelation, right? Because... We've been all taught that this is Christ, right? And we know that this is not Christ, according to the Bible, right? This is a false image that they gave us, right? This is all being circulated in the churches, so-called Christianity, right? But we're going to teach what is the true image of Christ, according to the Bible, word for word, right? Read. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Jump down to uh, 14. Listen to this, Steve. Listen to this. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head and his hairs were white like wool. Who has woolly here on the earth, Steve? Who has woolly hair on the earth? We have woolly hair, right? When you look at a sheep, you see that texture here? That is our texture here, right? But this here, this is what they tell us is Christ, right? This is long stringy hair like dog hair, right? That's not sheep. That's not the woolly hair that they're talking about here, right? Read. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Right, so remember I read the prophecy for you in Genesis uh, 49 and 12. It said that his eyes shall be red at wine because he drank wine. But he was not drunk, he drank in moderation. Right, you got to do everything in moderation. Right, you hear that Steve? Right, so you know our people when we drink wine or we drink alcohol, the whites of our eye, they turn red. Right, that's a common thing with our people. Right? As soon as you drink a little alcohol, a little wine, your eyes turn red. Right? Hey, give me a, give me Proverbs. Proverbs uh, 32 and 39, I think. Right? Because we, we are... Right? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Because we're trying to prove that the eyes are your, um, the redness of your eyes, right? It happens when you drink wine. Right? You get it? Listen to this. Listen to this, Steve. Yeah. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 29. Who hath woe? Who hath sorrow? Who hath contention? So who had woe, who had sorrow, who had contention? You know, our people, we live in under stress. 
we oppress as a people, right? So that is why, the, you know, the most I said as wine, you drink a little wine, you know what I mean, to relieve some of that stress because we're in captivity, right? Read. Who has babbling, who has wounds without cause, who has redness of art. Who had what? Redness of art. Read. They that tarry long at the wine. They that what? Tarry long at the wine. So you see that? Drink a little wine. That is where the eyes are still in red, right? Go back to Revelation, no? right? Because everything we talk is in this Bible. We can prove anything according to this Bible, right? This is not our own uh, opinions or our own uh, messages, right? This is the message of the Most High. But he uses us to bring these messages to our people, right? Read. And his, verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So we already established that, right? The redness of the eyes, right? Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Said his feet like unto fine brass. What is he called? Brass feet. Like a brown color, right? Like a penny, right? A dark brown color. So we already established that he had that, that dark brown color, like brass, right? So when you look at this image here, this doesn't fit this at all. But this is what the world said is Christ. But we proving out of the Bible the true image of Christ, right? Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. As if they burned in a fire. Listen to this again. Listen, Steve. Read it again. And his feet, like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Anything you burn, Steve, what color it turn? Anything you burn, if you burn rice, what color it turn? That's it. That's it right there. You know what I'm saying? So Christ was a black man according to the Bible. That's right. All right? Christ was so dark, he looked like he was burned in a furnace. That's right. Right, Steve? You get that? You sure you don't have more time, Steve? You need to hear this, man. You're laughing. You're laughing. But look, man, look. The most I stop you here today, right? Because you need to hear this message and you need to start changing your life, my brother. Right? You need to start changing. Right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.